Now, if you disagree with any of my choices, that's totally fine. I have no problem with if you like any of the movies on this list. And also, a good day to die hard, walking with dinosaurs and R.I.P.D. are not on this list because I didn't see them yet. And I also am not going into dishonorable mentions because, to be honest, I'd rather not focus too much on bad movies. Number 15, The Host. Is anyone really surprised that I put this movie on the list? The movie is based on a book that's by the same fucking author of the Twilight movies. So you really shouldn't expect anything good from it. But trust me, there are worse movies than this stupid piece of shit. Number 14, Identity Thief. My main problem with this movie is the fact that the identity thief is so fucking annoying! I get that she is supposed to be annoying, but this movie really fucking overdid it with the annoyance. single fucking time I saw that annoying identity thief on the screen, I just wanted to facepalm hard. And not to mention none of the supposedly jokes in this movie are even funny in the slightest. Number 13 Pain and Gain And this movie was also trying to make me root for criminals No, I wasn't rooting for them Because the characters of the movie aren't very interesting Number 12 White House Down. This movie is nothing but a fucking rip off of the movie All Empress Has Fallen. I know that All Empress Has Fallen and White House Down were in the production at the same time, but I don't give a fuck. I am going to call this movie a rip off because that's what I fucking see it as. And at the top of that, it's a horrible rip-off. Number 8. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. I can't decide which one is worse, so thankfully I don't remember the first one that well. Number 6. Bullet to the Head. How do you make something like gun violence Boring! I don't know how it's possible, but this movie fucking did it! Number 4, The Smurfs 2. Now you might think that because of the fact that I am so fucking pissed off, that this would be the worst movie. Number 3, A Haunted House. Yep, the worst comedy movies of the year are, are worse than Smurfs 2 because those movies are more painful to see through. But anyway, A Haunted House is supposed to be a parody of, of the Paranormal Activity movies.
Now this will be fails to understand what makes a good parody. A parody is supposed to either make fun of whatever it's parodying or put a new spin on it. It's not supposed to be worse than the thing that it's supposed to be a parody of. Number one, scary movie five. Apparently, because of movies like this and disaster movie, I'm convinced that good parody movies are almost dead. The only good parody movie I can think of that was released in recent years. Happen in the woods. But thankfully, good parody is not there. Family Guy, South Park, The Simpsons, and Robot Chicken are fucking awesome shows. Parody movies. They are hands down the most painful movies to sit through. Now, I only watched each one of those movies once. I did not rewatch them in preparation for this list. Why would I? Those movies are fucking horrible. And when it comes to bad movies, I only want to watch a bad movie once in order to review it, but after that, I don't ever want to watch them again.